Hey y'all, um, welcome back to Neon's Movie Reviews. Um, I'm Neon, this is my review channel. Today I am talking about a little movie you may have heard of, Joker. Um, it was all right. Um, fantastic acting, fantastic, like everything in it was really good, but I just felt the, the story was lacking and I also felt it relied too heavily on the Scorsese references, which just made me want to watch those Scorsese movies as opposed to The Joker. Um, it's probably a film I'm going to watch again, or no, not, not probably. I, I will watch this movie again. It's a film I'll recommend for others. Um, it's definitely a good direction to see Warner Brothers going in. Like, this is, like as much as I enjoy the Snyder approach to the universe and the direction that that story would have gone um not necessarily what he did with it while he had it but where he was going with it and what that end result would have ended up being would have been very curious to see but now that that's not a thing i am so much happier with getting these standalone director cent centered focused films and uh, Joker is definitely a step in the direction that I want to see these types of films go. I, I enjoy comic book movies. I think they have a wide, wide realm of untapped potential. But it's films like Joker that are going to make them, you know, that are going to allow that to happen. Well, um, unfortunately, just like with Western, just like with most genres... I think they're gonna they're gonna hit their peak, they're gonna die out, and that's when people are gonna start getting creative because it's doesn't matter anymore. It's just like, oh it's that. Oh, yeah, do whatever you want. No one's probably gonna see it anyways. No one's watching those. So that's where you're gonna get the the unforgivens of comic book movies. Um, hopefully though we can kinda have that renaissance before that happens and that you know, it doesn't die off, but if it does, I'm not worried. We'll have it either way. Um, but off of that little rant, um, Joker. Todd Phillips, he did a very good job for not being a dramatic director. Um, Joaquin Phoenix, fantastic actor. Um, I never once saw Joaquin in the role. I just saw the character he was playing. Uh, I saw Arthur and his in his descent into madness and becoming the joker that was fantastic um it's just the story i just felt was too predictable to just by the numbers and did nothing really new and the parts that were interesting weren't really developed enough to know is this real or not um, I don't want to go into spoilers in this because it's just, the things I want to go into spoilers about are never resolved, so there's no point to, um, <laughs> like, yeah, um, but it's, it's a mixed bag for me. It's, it's, t all the technical aspects are very, very well, very well accomplished. Um, it's just... A, the the story that's pulling them together it's it's not bad it's just basic and I as weird as it is this is a film that I feel was definitely hampered by the controversy surrounding it uh, the controversy definitely made it a bigger film than it probably would have been otherwise um, I am not saying that a R-rated Joker prequel movie would have been not a bomb in the box office, but the controversy definitely put more eyes on it. Um, but for me, the controversy was just kind of like, oh, that was it. Well, this film, none of the violence was severe. I mean, it wasn't tame but it wasn't severe it was not like in my face horrific it was it was violent but I've seen a lot worse um I've seen a lot worse in the films that this film was directly inspired by 
uh, Taxi Driver, very disturbing film. Um, the violence in that film, very disturbing. The um, King of Comedy, Mean Streets, those are fucking disturbing films. Those are very dark and twisted films. This film wants to be those, but it doesn't know how to stand on its own feet and and outside of emulate those films, be its own film. Um, and you, you might feel differently. That's completely fine. If you do, please let me know in the comments. Like, I, I want to hear from people that thoroughly love this film. Because, like I said, I, I enjoy this movie. Most of the people I talk to enjoy this movie, but they're all kind of in that same boat as me, where they're just like, it was good. Like, that was it. Like, it didn't deserve any of the hoopla. It was a good performance. It was a well, you know, well shot film. Set design was great. I love that the, the city is trash filled and just nasty. Yeah, that's a great subplot. Um, I like how they, they handled the whole Wayne subplot. Like, I thought that was really good. Um, it's just, I don't know. The Joker story itself, I felt was very subpar and the it for the joker it should have been more more shocking in my opinion even outside of the controversy it should have been more shocking but um i definitely recommend this film it's as i as i keep saying it's it's fantastically acted fantastically shot fantastically directed uh, the set design is amazing the costumes are great the makeup is on point um like, just all around. This film is really, really good. It's just... It's not as good as it could have been. And it's very unfortunate when everything else is firing on all cylinders. And the script is just by the numbers. That's that's so disappointing. Um, and it's weird because, like, a film like The Villainous or uh, uh, The Raid or Dread, you know, same type of thing. But... This film is so simple, and everything in the film pushes towards the simplicity of these 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 core themes. In this, it's not simple, um, and it should be. Um, it should either with if you're going this route with this film, make it simple, make it something that easy to grasp onto, and just run with that. Um, or if if you're going the other way that this film goes, where it's not so simple, it's not black and white, everything is kept in gray, including, slight spoiler, reality, um, then embrace that. Run with that throughout the entirety of the film to the point that you don't know what's real. Um, so, yeah, I just, I just felt they should have picked one and ran with it. Uh, for me, with the Joker, obviously, I would have loved them to embrace the the insanity of the character, but they definitely um, they wanted to walk that 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 midline, and it, for me, it just didn't work. Um, I would give this a six out of ten. Um, upon rewatch, I might go up, might go down. Um, I I really don't know. Um, but yeah, for for first time seeing this. With all the, the build-up and the controversy and everything, it was fine. It was 6 out of 10. Um, definitely the performances stand out, but everything else, you know, like I said, like, the core story was just so by the numbers that it, it does bring the film down. Um, but I would highly recommend this film if, uh, I mean, uh, this film made it over a billion dollars, so... It, a lot of people saw this film. It's it's very worth seeing, but uh, and it's definitely the like I said again the direction I want to see the the comic book industry and especially DC continue in this direction. I want to see more villain films, more standalone films, it's more weird projects. Just do just do things that are not tied together. Do things that doesn't matter where they fit into continuity. Just make a Make a movie. Make something interesting. Make something good. Even if it's not a, not a sure hit. We'll, like, just give me something different. I don't want a Skybeam. I don't want, super, you know, superhero fights. Like, 
you know, and if you give me something different that has those things, I don't even fucking care. Like, who cares if you have these minor things? But give me something different. Um, and Joker, Joker tried to. It gave me a different comic book movie. It just gave me a subpar Scorsese movie. And for me, that wasn't enough. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Um, again, if you like this video, uh, please like, please like this video. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, subscribe for more content. Um, I've got a couple more reviews lined up for today. Um, and then I'm going to be watching a couple more videos and, uh, more, more reviews lined up for tomorrow. But, um, but yeah, thanks all. Um, definitely stay safe and, uh, that'll do it. See ya. Bye.